Good evening, YTPC. Warrant your Piper here. Saturday evening. Soon be Christmas. It is Noddy. It's Christmas. Happy Christmas one and all. Hope you've done all your shopping. Hope you bought all the booze. Hope you bought all the food. Uh, not long now. Uh, first off, guys and gals, uh, I'd just like to apologise because it's been a, a long while since I've, uh, I've posted a vid. A uh, couple of reasons, mainly work. Um, I don't know whether I'd explain in uh, another video, in another uh, post that I've done. I'm a press photographer, so uh, obviously this time of year for me is, is absolutely crazy busy. <coughs> when I've had the energy uh, to do a vid, I haven't had the time. When I've had the time, I haven't had the energy. I've got to, uh, I've got to turn you down a little bit. Uh, I just thought we'd have a little bit of. A little bit of festive music in the background. Um, no booze for me tonight because uh, I've got to drive later. Um, it's my girlfriend's works Christmas party tonight. Um, so I'm having a tea, uh, unfortunately. But not to worry, I shall make up for it. Um, yeah, so basically work commitments. Um, I also broke a rib uh, fairly, recent, uh, fairly recently as well, actually fitting a toilet at uh, my girlfriend's house. Uh, don't even go there. Uh, just one of those things. Uh, obviously, I'm not. Uh, I'm a bit too big to be a plumber, to be quite honest. And uh, and, and the rib uh, was uh, the toilet's way of telling me that I think. Uh, trying to squeeze into tight spaces to do these things when you've got a three foot shoulder span and you weigh 16 stone and you're six foot tall isn't uh, isn't conducive to being a, a plumber I think but um, anyway guys uh, there's been a lot going on hasn't there uh, uh, in the YTPC um, various uh, uh, members having disagreements a few personal attacks uh, on um, and other members personally which I, I don't agree with uh, we're all friends here we're a big family uh, I'm not going to say too much about it because it's all what's been said has been said it's all been done and dusted but I have been following what's been uh, being said um, you know we all have disagreements from time to time um, but let's just keep those pipe and tobacco related I think if you actually start and attack people personally uh, I think it's I think it's very bad and very bad taste and certainly all called for. But uh, like I say, I'm not. Uh, everything's been said now because it was a while ago. Um, but that's just my take on it anyway. Um, it's a shame. It really is. Um, anyway, that's that. Uh, it's Christmas, so I'm not going to dwell on anything too depressing. Uh, this appeared. Uh, as well as I say, I'm playing catch up. To be quite honest, I'm sure you're all aware of that. Uh, Cornell and Deal's uh, small batch, uh, Carolina Red Flake, um, I haven't popped it yet, uh, I haven't really had time, uh, it's one of those blends that I would like to pop uh, when I've got time to enjoy it properly, however, um, a lot of the reports that have come back from fellow smokers, uh, from the YTPC and, and, and Facebook uh, groups that I'm in have said yes it's a nice it's a nice blend uh, but it's uh, a little bit unexciting really uh, and possibly quite possibly not worth the, the hype that surrounded it I mean it was crazy crazy hype uh, I was lucky very lucky actually to get uh, a quantity of it uh, I mean to be honest I probably fell for the hype the same as everybody else did um, but as I say, going on what other members have said, it's probably one, two. Although it's not a bad, uh, not a bad um, uh, Red Virginia, it's certainly one to lay down. Those are the initial views on it. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I will pop it in and I will do a review of it. 
at some point in the in the near future. Uh, but the other tins that I've I've got, I'm going to uh, put in the deep cellar, I think. Um, okay, uh, quite a few new pipes have come through the door since we last spoke. Um, I'm not going to get into those now. I'm just trying to see whether I can find one. Actually, uh, I can't at this moment in time. Uh, but I didn't intend this to be uh, a pipe vid, more a video just as a catch-up vid, and also to review this uh, GQ Tobacco's Christmas Blend 2018. Uh, in this country we are uh, we usually get uh, Peterson normally produce a Christmas blend that we can get quite readily uh, obviously there are quite a few other Christmas blends out there um, but for us uh, um, our B&M's uh, they're not always easy to get hold of most of them come from overseas uh, but this one is produced by uh, GQ Tobacco's uh, at the end of this I will drop a link into GQ Tobacco's in the bucket. Um, they are uh, an online tobacco pipe, snuff and cigar retailer uh, run by the, uh, the ever efficient and effervescent Sam Brammer. Now apart from all the usual accoutrement uh, of pipes and uh, cigars and all the rest of it and tobacco they do uh, their own boutique pipe tobaccos uh, called blend it yourself kits now uh, I know there are other YTPC members that have covered these uh, blend it yourself kits before um, they are produced in conjunction with GQ tobaccos and, uh, and Sam Brammer by uh, tobacco UK tobacco guru Glyn Quelch. Now Glyn uh, in years gone by produced many uh, popular blends um, himself uh, but stopped sadly stopped producing them in 2016. Now obviously this left uh, a gaping hole for a lot of people because they were incredibly popular um, now obviously we've got Samuel Goweth, Goweth and Hogarth uh, as our sort of home uh, tobacco blenders uh, and I'm, I'm fairly sure that, uh, that Glyn used um, quite a few uh, Goweth and Hogarth and uh, Samuel Goweth uh, tobaccos as his base blends for um, some of his. Now I've got what what um, basically what uh, Glyn obviously had a lot of stick uh, in the ensuing years from 2016 onwards um, to see whether he was going to uh, to start up again. Now what he did he he joined forces with Sam at GQ Tobaccos to produce these blend it yourself kits whereby you get uh, everything you need to produce uh, an old blend of GQ like Swamp Flower Clementine's Nip Chocolate and Vanilla and uh, this year's Christmas blend. Now basically what you get, you get all the base blends, you get all the components to mix yourself and put into these uh, wonderful Ziploc seal bags and uh, you let the blend stew for you know a few months a couple of months however long you want I mean, you could smoke it straight away if you like uh, but the whole idea is for the flavors to marry and uh, uh, and the magic to happen inside the bag um, so basically a recreation, a, a recreation of, of Glyn's old blends. Now 
they are as true as they can possibly be. However, some of the original uh, tobaccos obviously don't exist anymore. So uh, Glyn and Sam have had to put replacements in there. Uh, some of the toppings aren't available anymore because of health restrictions and, and various other problems. So again, they've had to improvise a bit. Um, now I'm not going to talk about any of the other blends. It's Christmas. Happy Christmas. Cheers. I'll have a cup of tea. Um, so I'm going to talk about this. Christmas blend 2018. Uh, it smells absolutely wonderful as soon as you open the pack it smells great I'm probably going to set the smoke alarm off wouldn't be the first time I'm smoking it in a Mastro de Paya Passaro Gorgeous pipe Don't smoke it as often as I should Beautiful grain Okay, it doesn't want to lock up. Now this is a uh, Black Cavendish, Burley and Virginia blend with hints of alcohol of some sort now I tend to get uh, rum or brandy it tastes a little bit like an Irish coffee it smells like an Irish coffee but there's also hints of cinnamon in there as well only ever so slightly it's a very mellow blend. It's not overly topped. It's not too wet. Very nice. And I was going to keep this for Christmas Day and uh, smoke it on Christmas morning. <clears throat> I've got a couple of uh, new pipes on the way. Uh, a commission from Ian Walker from Northern Briars, uh, which I have to collect. From the post office, yay! That's something to look forward to. Uh, I've waited nearly four months for it, so that's really exciting. That's definitely going to be uh, a yabo opening uh, in the next few days, certainly between Christmas and New Year. Uh, I shall open it on Christmas. So I'm going to wrap it. There's another one under the tree that I've wrapped uh, for myself. <laughs> uh, I haven't opened it. I know what they are, but I'm uh, I'm going to open them on Christmas Day. Um, yeah, so I was going to wait. Um, this hasn't had long. I must admit, Sam didn't uh, launch these till I think it was a couple of weeks now. So they they haven't had long to marry. This one actually came ready blended by by Sam. Uh, but it is a very nice aromatic. It's uh, I'll show you. It is a 
a ribbon cut. Uh, the Cavendish is quite coarse, uh, as is the burley in there. I can see the burley in there as well. There's not a lot of burley. I can get, get a hint from it, but not a lot. Um, I can pick up all the... Uh, I can pick up all of the, a lot of the flavours and the notes from it. The, the only thing that's confusing me slightly is uh, the alcohol dressing. I'm not quite sure, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is. But like I say, it does taste uh, a little bit like Irish coffee. Very pleasant. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice quality tobacco that is, as aromatics go. I wouldn't say it's uh, amazing. Um, I think it's very nice, and I shall uh, I shall smoke it. Uh, and I, I, there's a good chance I'll order some more, but it's certainly not up there in my top five. What I've, uh, I've decided I'm going to do, guys, um, there's a lot of you do uh, your top five blends or top ten blends uh, of the year. I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm going to do uh, my top five uh, Virginias, Vapors, Latakia blends and aromatics that are available over the counter from B&M's or from UK online retailers and I'm also going to do exactly the same but from overseas uh, stores, online stores as well because I thought that I know there's an awful lot of people that don't order from overseas um, for whatever reason um, I tend to do a bit of everything I call in at, uh, at bricks and mortar stores I buy from UK online retailers and I also buy from overseas retailers as well so everybody gets a bite of the cherry uh, it's very important that our, our UK businesses uh, get a bite of that cherry yes they're more expensive uh, but they try exceptionally hard to give us good customer service, particularly Sam and others. Um, smoking and uh, I'm trying to think of another one now. I can't, my mind's gone blank. Um, I can't think of another one. I know I've dealt with smoking, um, GQ. Uh, there are others, but we have to support them where we can. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the my top five from that's readily available from UK retailers and also a top five uh, from overseas retailers as well, such as Cup of Joe's, for instance, or Smoking Pipes, although I don't deal with them. Um, and also there's obviously European online retailers as well. So, so everybody gets something. So if you do order from overseas, you've got my blends that you can order from overseas and also that's if you want that's if you want to order you might not even listen to me you might think what I'm saying is a complete load of tosh but that's entirely up to you uh, I just give my two penneth for what it's worth um, purely objective I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination but uh, if I like it I'll tell you if I don't like it I'll tell you as well um, on a side note, if you think I've got a bit of a a bruise on the side of my cheek, uh, I have. Um, I had a fight today. 
with a 12 gauge shotgun, with a 12 bore shotgun. I've, I've been pheasant shooting today. Um, I don't shoot anywhere near as much as I used to. Uh, I used to be a gamekeeper many moons ago, it's what I actually trained to be. Uh, I went to college to do uh, game conservation and management. Uh, I also trained to be a tree surgeon amongst other things. But my dad has is involved with a pheasant shooting syndicate uh, not that far away, it's only a small shoot. Um, and uh, every year he uh, he lets me shoot on the uh, on his uh, on the Christmas shoot uh, that they have. So I've been shooting today. I say I used to shoot a hell of a lot. I used to shoot county clay pigeons and uh, and also England selection level as well. But with with work commitments and, and financial constraints these days, unfortunately, I, I can't do that. Uh, but I really enjoy going just the once a year. It takes me a little while to get back into it again. Um, but a mismount on a, on a particularly fast high bird, uh, the stock of the gun caught me a, a good smack in the chops and on this cheekbone here and I can feel it swelling up nicely. Um, as I say, I also struggled today with this, with this rib, this, uh, this rib that I've got. Um, I was strapped up and uh, I've been on tramadol, so I've been on high as a kite for the last uh, the last few days. But yeah, it was, it was a great day. It was a great day. Weather was absolutely fantastic. Uh, lots of port was drunk. Lots of Stilton was hidden, uh, which is uh, not going to do anything for my uh, uh, ever expanding waistline. But hey, fuck it, it's Christmas. I don't care. So what, um, what are we asked Father Christmas for? What are we asked Santa for? Are we getting pipes? Are we getting tobacco? Have you had to uh, treat yourself uh, a bit like me? Or have you got uh, a better half that, uh, that treats you and disappears off to the tobacconist and knows exactly what you like and, uh, <coughs> and surprises you? Well, I've got a sneaking suspicion. That my other half disappeared off to Salt's Tobacconist, my local B&M in Coventry, <clears throat> last week. Um, and she has been talking quite a bit about Peterson Pipes just recently. Now, she uh, is not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. And I said to her, I said, well, I said, why are you talking about Peterson Pipes? And she said, she said, oh, well, just nothing, nothing at all. She said, that's the only name I can remember, Peterson. So I'm thinking to myself, and, she, and I know she had a mysterious trip to Coventry, uh, and she wouldn't tell me why she had to go to Coventry. So I'm putting two and two together and thinking, well, she's been talking about Peterson and a mysterious trip to Coventry. So... Maybe, just maybe, there might be a Peterson under the tree for me. So, uh, hopefully Santa won't make a mess when he comes and empties his sack under the tree. Uh, but you never know. You never know what's going to be in it. So, uh, so there we go. I'm really fortunate in, in the fact that I've got, uh, I don't go back to work until the 2nd of January. Uh, some... Christmas breaks, as I say, being a press photographer, I, I can be on call sometimes. Um, but with having a uh, this rib issue uh, for the last week, I've had uh, a scaled down workload. Fortunately, um, my editor uh, very kindly said to me that uh, he wasn't going to book any more jobs in, and uh, I wasn't needed until the second of January. So. Happy days, guys. I can have a nice, relaxing Christmas. I can go out and get completely wasted without having to worry about the phone ringing. 
and having to shoot off and, uh, and do a job. <coughs> so yeah, apologies guys for not uh, um, not being about recently. And uh, there was a guy, I, I, I can't remember his, uh, his name, that, uh, that sent me a message and uh, asked whether I'd been abducted by aliens. No, no I haven't been abducted by aliens, but I'm still here. Uh, as I say, it's just uh, it's just sort of work commitments and, and other stuff that's gone on. Um, it's a shame that I've missed out on uh, on lots of giveaways. I, I do see them pop up on my phone, um, and it's it's not always easy for me to catch up on on everybody's vids. But I do try uh, to uh, to certainly watch uh, bits of them or, or all of them where where I can. Um, Talking Tommy, I did watch your uh, your live vid the other night, but uh, you had a few issues, I think, with yours. Here's to the next one. Just a shame it happened on your on your very first live vid. I haven't got the balls to do a live vid yet, because I don't think anybody would watch it, to be quite honest. <clears throat> if anybody would like to see me do a live vid. And have a chat and I can show you some some pipes and we can talk about uh, talk about a few blends that I've got and talk about your blends favorites and whatever you just uh, drop me a message in the bucket if I get more than five I might consider it <laughs> um, but I say it's uh, I know uh, London calling with Simon uh, he seems to have mastered the art of the live vid but uh, I'd be fairly upset if I uh, if I did one and only uh, one or two people logged in I know Simon does his uh, he ties his live uh, live vids in with work as well and I know he um, to be honest I, I struggle to watch Simon's uh, live vids although I have caught a few it's just um, they just tend to be very late but I, I know he, he does them late as well obviously to tie in with his work as a wedding photographer uh, and also to uh, for a lot of his American subscribers as well so it sort of tallies in with that but um, normally by uh, half eleven or midnight I'm uh, counting sheep Now you'll probably notice that I've got glasses on. Now these are just a cheap pair of reading glasses, but in the new year, my eyesight has actually got that bad uh, that I do need an eye test and I do need proper glasses because uh, <coughs> I'm very short-sighted and uh, anything sort of above 20 feet away is uh, particularly soft. Now, as a photographer, that's not good because everything I see and through the viewfinder obviously needs to be needs to be sharp, um, and also it's affecting driving as well, which is worrying. Um, yes, guys. So uh, I suppose it all comes with age, doesn't it? What are we all doing for Christmas Day? Are we going out or have we got uh, family friends coming? I'm just uh, having a quiet one with my girlfriend at home. Um, I've got a turkey big enough to uh, feed about 25 people, uh, which is typical, typical of me. Enough cheese to sink a battleship. And about 300 pounds of spreads. And 
just a little bit of booze. Well, I must say, as I'm getting down the bowl, this is actually turning into a very, very nice smoke. Very nice smoke indeed. It's mellowing out, actually. The further down the bowl I get, it's actually mellowing out. I'm getting more of the burly. The alcohol taste has burnt off, which is about par for the course because that normally happens. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely getting more burly. I'm getting the grassy, the grassy flavours of the Virginia now. As well, really slightly more dominant now. Burning very nicely. I don't know whether you can see that. Hmm. I don't know. There you go. Yeah, it's burning very nicely. And I haven't set the smoke alarm up yet, which is always a plus. I, um, as I mentioned before, I went, went shooting today and uh, I've tried packed up sandwiches this morning. The next most important thing other than food was uh, which pipe and uh, tobacco were going to accompany me on my day shooting the shit out of a living countryside. This lovely Savonelli Weta Servo or the pine cone as I call it. I wish that would focus. There we go. It's a beautiful pipe and it's one that I one of my favourite savs. I have a nice collection of Savonelli pipes and this is one of my my favourites. Beautiful smoker. Um, it doesn't matter what you put in it, it behaves so well as all savs do. And my tobacco of choice today was Baggy's Dream. One of my uh, Top five aromatics, I would say. One of my top five aromatics. Just, just scrapes in there. It's a very, very nice blend. And uh, when you're out and about in the uh, in the countryside, it's uh, it's nice. And it certainly had a, a lot of uh, nice comments from uh, some of the fellow guns today. Had a bit of piss take as well. Uh, said it smelt like. Uh, <laughs> burning sweaty old socks that uh, I'm sure they were just winding me up but um, no a lot of people were were very complimentary as I said at the start of this vid I'm not uh, I'm not drinking this evening because I've got to go and pick my girlfriend up from her works Christmas party She works in a, a nursery, not far from uh, not far from here, and uh, she deals with little kids all day long. I don't know how the hell she does it. I don't dislike kids. I do like children, but I, you know, I cheerfully like to kick them up in the arse sometimes because they, you know, it's just the noise they make. I don't know how she does it. So all the girls are going to go out tonight. They uh, at a local hotel and everything's paid for by the, the nursery owner so I uh, I expect a very drunken phone call at, uh, at silly o'clock 
Um, so I'll have to go and go and pick her up. So I thought I've got no female interference this evening. I've got nothing else to do. So I thought I'd tune in and talk to you guys. Um, smoking chunk of 57. Congratulations on your uh, Christmas Peterson pipe purchase. It's a beautiful pipe, mate. You'll enjoy it. You really will. Lovely looking pipe. You need to do a vid. Token Tommy. Lovely new pipes, buddy. That, uh, I think the Hussein core, your new mirror. Uh, is, that, is that the second core that you've got? Or the first, I can't remember. The second, I, I think, maybe. I know you've got an alternate. Uh, gorgeous looking bit of kit, mate. Really nice pipe. And uh, really nice to see uh, your lovely wife, Victoria, partaking in our wonderful hobby. And uh, I'm sure she'll enjoy the new pink stem Northern Briars that you bought for Christmas. Now we need to see Victoria on your next on your next vid. Well, I'm impressed with this. I must admit uh, one of my UK PTC Facebook group mates, Mark Cuthbert, uh, recently ordered about 50 packs of this, exaggeration, uh, I think four or five packs he ordered. Uh, I know Mark does like his aromatics and he does like his, his Christmas blends. and. Uh, Mark was very, very complimentary of it, and uh, he's got it all jarred up. I think he's got uh, one jar for the cellar, and one to smoke over the holiday season. I was going to put a Christmas hat on tonight, uh, but I, I left it at the, at the girlfriend's house. Just so you could all take the piss out of me. Well, I've just realised that this is coming up to 40 minutes long, guys. If you're still watching, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'd also like to thank, while I think about it, I've... Uh, quite a few new subscribers just recently so uh, thank you very much to you guys um, like I say I will I will desperately try to post more content it's uh, I shall my, one of my new year's resolutions uh, is to do more YTPC stuff um, another new year's resolution actually I was, I was talking about this uh, to a friend of mine the other day um, this last 12 months uh, has, has been a fairly hectic whirlwind of pipe purchases. Achieved a lot of goals. But this next this next 12 months is going to be mainly tobacco, um, because to be honest, it's uh, you know. We don't know how long we've got. Uh, there are an awful lot of people that say, you know, this is the, the, the golden age of tobacco. You know, there's never been more 
variety of blends available it's never been you know it's cheap it's it's easy to get hold of um, although we've uh, you know we've lost <coughs> uh, the likes of McClellan and, and Dunhill not not producing uh, tobacco anymore although uh, in the UK we have the new Charitan uh, Dunhill blends uh, there's some very favourable comments coming back from uh, people about those initial comments that came uh, back from certainly from uh, American smokers there were a few people that moaned and said they were completely different to, to the original Dunhill blends um, but that's not what I'm hearing from the UK guys that have uh, that have been lucky enough to um, to pick some of the uh, the Charitan blends up. They say they're pretty much identical, which is really really good news um, to all of us that like uh, some of the Dunhill blends. Um, yeah, so this year is going to be tobacco mainly. Um, there, there are a few a few pipes that I've got my eye on. Um, Castello for one, um, Radis or Radice, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Um, uh, maybe another Northern Briars. Uh, and an Ardor. Um, but as I say, if one, I'm not, you know, if one pops up, happy days. At the right price, the right shape, uh, the right grain. I'm not going to rush into it. If I don't find one, I don't find one. And that's, to be honest, that's pretty much what I've done this year. Um, you know, I've got some absolutely stonking pipes. Really, really nice pipes. This year, I've been very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Um... So that's it guys really, I hope everybody has a, an absolutely fantastic Christmas and New Year, I will catch up with you between Christmas and New Year, so uh, so um, we'll, we'll have a chat before New Year, uh, obviously everybody's really busy over Christmas, so uh, I don't expect I'll, I'll get on, um, maybe if I get a chance Christmas Day. I might do a very, very quick Christmas Day vid. This is good. This is very good. Do you know what? The more, I, the more, the more I smoke this, the further down the bowl I get, the better it gets. Right guys, I am going to warm my tea up because I've let it go cold. I'm going to finish the last of this bowl and uh, wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great day. Eat too much, drink too much, have a wonderful time. Don't worry about the waistline, don't worry about dieting. You can work all that off in the new year. <clears throat> Thanks for listening guys if you're still with me. Take care. Stay safe and smoky. I'll be back.